sure. I'm 5'7", with long, natural red hair that goes down to the small of my back. Oh, yeah. Green, cat-like eyes. My measurements are 36D, 25, 32, and I'm covered from head to toe in freckles. How about you? Yeah, I'm, uh... 6'4", about 210. I'm in the gym all the time, so I'm in great shape. I'm big, strong, and I like that. So where are you calling me from, Phil? I'm uh, sipping martinis on the veranda of my penthouse that overlooks the city. Yeah, I've got my rod out and I'm doing a little hand fishing. Mm, that sounds so tasty. I'm getting goosebumps everywhere just thinking about it. Let's say I'm there with you, Phil. What would you do to me? <clears throat> well, I think I'd start by kissing you very softly. Do you like the way my lips feel? Oh, yeah. They're so soft. I can feel them. Oh. That's great. They're so, so hot and wet. That's right, Phil. Oh, now I'm all hot and wet. I think I'm going to run my tongue down you. Yeah. Your moist, pink tongue. Yes, and you know where I'm going, don't you? You know the spot. My spot? Oh, oh, that spot. Oh, yeah. That's, that's it. Oh, that's great. Oh, 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 yeah. Feel it. It's all kind of, kind of tickly down there. Oh, yeah. You definitely know what you're doing. Uh -oh. oh, it's great. Oh, my. Oh, 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 my aching. Put your fingers down, Joe. I can suck on them. Oh, Christ. Oh, they feel. Whoa. That's it, baby. Oh, baby, don't stop now. Oh, my. Oh, that's it, baby. Oh, don't stop. Don't stop. Oh, mercy, baby. Oh, 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 baby. Don't end up like the rest of those sickles out there. Use it. Don't use it. Ah. That's it. Stocked up. Just here. Honey. Hey. <laughs> I'm clean. That's great, baby. I knew you would be. So, um, when are you gonna go? Excuse me. Honey, I think it's great you got this test. Pay, you weren't sure. Now you are. I mean, it's just it's different with me, okay? Can we just talk about this some other time? Okay. I'm sorry. I'm just here. Okay. Wonderful. Now, have I got something for you? It's strong, well lubricated, and doesn't feel like a raincoat. Great. Toodaloo. Uh, honey, what's the big deal? Hey, guys, what can I get for you? Look, it's easy. You just go in, they zap you with this little needle. It doesn't even hurt. Uh, deluxe with fries and a chocolate shake. Okay. Don't you think it's better for both tested? And for you? Um, I'll just get the same, but with a strawberry shake. Okay, great. Look, I just want us to be on the safe side. Can't you see that I am at work right now? Why do you keep pushing this test on me? You know how many guys I've been with. You know I'm on the pill. What's the matter with you? You don't trust me? Trust? <laughs> It's got nothing to do with trust. Fine, I know you're on the pill. Right, I know how many guys you've been with. That doesn't tell me anything. I have never lied to you. You know what? Not being trusted isn't exactly turning me on right now. No, you not being tested isn't turning me on. Oh yeah, okay, fine. Walk away like you always do. Especially when I have something to say you don't like. Oh. Coffee for me. Okay. 
Same. Thanks. Great, we're just making a fresh pot. I'll leave you some menus. Is there something wrong? Why would there be something wrong? Well, it's just you haven't said anything all day. Well, I don't feel like talking. <laughs> There's nothing wrong. Here's your coffee. You guys decide what you'd like yet? Uh, uh, could we uh, have just a couple minutes? Sure, no problem. About last night. I was meaning to talk to you about that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was... How can I say this? It was great. I had too much to drink. <laughs> yeah. I have never felt so comfortable with anybody. It was magical. I think it was a big mistake. What? I'm sorry. So, so you you didn't. Uh, yeah. I, what do I you mean? I I don't. Um, you you were so. Uh, it was nice. <laughs> Really? Uh, yeah. Uh, so, but, uh, um, what's so wrong? Um, you brought out all these feelings in me. You excited me like no other woman. Richard, stop. Um, I don't want to hurt you. Um, it was fun. But you aren't... Um, you, you don't, um, you know, it was all so fast and I, it shouldn't have happened. How, how can you say that? Last night with all the passion, yeah, I felt so complete and so did you. Well, none of that matters. You know, it was in the heat of the moment and you don't fit into my plans. weren't exactly what I expected from your dad. Here we go. Have you guys made any decisions yet? Uh, coffee's fine. Okay, well just give me a shot if you need anything. That's ridiculous. People are still going to need flesh. Mm -hmm. It's all gonna be VR. No one touches anything except for electrodes and keyboard. That's crazy. No one is going to want to have sex through a computer. Virtual reality opens so many doors. Take Isaac, for instance. He could be anyone. Long Dog Silver, Clint Eastwood. He could make it with anyone. Marilyn Monroe or one of the Charlie's Angels. We're leaning towards the Al McPherson types. You're insane. Both of you. It would never happen. I guess you haven't checked out the porn pages on the web. They're very interactive. Say you wanted to make it with Mick Jagger. Mick Jagger, come on, that guy should have a delete button. Could have. Been, uh, I'm not saying you'd want to be with Mick, I'm just throwing out names. Okay, uh, uh, say you wanted to be with Sylvester Stallone or Arnold Schwarzenegger. Antonio Banderas. Whatever. <laughs> you could, through the use of a computer. Any position, any time you like, and as many times as you desire. No, 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 no. There would be no feeling, no satisfaction, no, no, no love. You are so wrong. All of those feelings that you say are due to the human psyche are all due to chemical compounds. If the computer can mathematically decode those compounds with the correct software and hardware, then the computer can stimulate those neurons into emoting any feelings we desire, such as sexual stimuli. And love. And that's 
a total satisfaction. Just like in real life, it all comes down to the hardware. Genetics and chemical compounds. It's simple math to a computer. Genetics and math? But that is not love. That is not even sex. Uh, there's a theory that states your genes contain mathematical maps to stimulate different emotional and physical aspects of your person. Right, so and if a computer can genetically decode these responses, then the user can uh, act out any feelings he wishes to, to log into. The most frequent feelings would be sexually orientated. It's a fact. It's going to have nothing to do with love as we know it. Sex in our day is becoming a very selfish and risky, even a deadly act. But in the future, there's going to be something called genetic selfishness. Yeah, genetic selfishness. Just think. No more limp ticks, no inconvenient headaches. Just turn on the computer and away you go. Instant Antonio Banderas. Imagine safe sex. Speaking of headaches, you two are giving me one. You both spend too much time on the net. Stop playing with your keyboards and meet some women. So, what I was saying, it was like these drop dead chicks, right, being pressed up against the stage as I went in the Musolo. Then, bang! One after another, these brawls started hitting me face. I, mean, I couldn't believe it. I mean, first there was this black lacy one, then this tulsi pink one, and this humongous red one. I was like, bang, baby, brawls in the head. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. What? It's my boss, Mr. Rowland. Oh, where? No, no, don't look. He's with his wife. Maybe he won't see us. Oh, Let's where's go. your damage? I thought you said he was a great guy to work for. Yeah, that was before I slept with him. Oh, come on. What? <sighs> you slept with your boss. I mean, why? You wanted this stupid open relationship in the first place. Right. I was happy with the way things were, but then you wanted your space. And then you wanted your freedom and you had to fuck around while I keep score. You know what? Don't put that shit on me. But we were talking about a monogamy tree between you and I and another fucking chick. You know, I knew you'd be mad. I shouldn't have told you in the first place. Well, look how old he is. He looks like fucking Yoda, for Christ's sake. You know, you are so pathetic. Baby, I mean... Oh, come on! Baby, what? You get a piece off, you fucking wreck. Is that your wife, is it? You fucking wreck. Oh, Fuck off. Baby, come on. Of all the places that you could have chosen, why here? I mean, two ninety five for a cup of coffee with milk. We can have coffee at home, you know. It's cappuccino, Tom. <laughs> cappuccino. It's still just coffee with milk. Hot milk, that's all. I want a divorce. do this anymore. Things are just not the same. Okay, what did I do this time? We never spend any time together. <laughs> You're always working late. I can't even remember the last time we were together. Is this about sex? Sex. Or different people. Our lives have changed. This isn't a marriage anymore. I want out. You're being ridiculous. You do realize that, right? I mean, have you really thought this thing through? Because I don't think you have. What's this? 
don't understand this at all. Using the ketchup? Thanks. Ma, this burger rock. So does our waitress. I know. She's checking me out. In your dreams. No, seriously, ma'am. She gave me the eye. You wish. But she sure does have a great set of tits on her. Hey, guess what I heard doing it last night? My parents. My dad was just giving it to my mom, man. They were making noise like two porno stars. You heard your parents fucking? That's sick. What? They're not dead, you know. No, ma'am. Old people doing it? It just freaks me out. I wonder what position they were in. Don't take me there. I don't need to know. What? Your parents do it too. No, they don't. Sure they fucking do. They fucking don't! So you're saying that your parents don't fuck? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They're old. They never do, okay? Just drop it. After a hard day at the office, I'm sure they look forward to a little action. Your dad's a big man. I wonder if they do any role-playing, like Tarzan and Jane. Or maybe they have a nice little collection of sex toys. How you fellas doing? Oh, shit, I think we need some water. Oh, man. I'll be right with you. Uh, come here. Come on. Hold up. Oh. Are you okay? Are you sure? Uh, look, you guys, it's on the house. Let me get you some water. You almost died, man. I think I'm in love. You're on glue. I think I'm all that hungry now. Decaf. So, tell me all about the fabulous class. You know, it amazes me that you guys even have the time to take all these night school courses. Oh, I know. You name it, we have taken it. Beginner's French, uh, pottery making, vegetarian cooking. But this time, Jenny stumbles across this brochure that is titled Absolute Orgasm, The Art of Masturbation and Self-Loving. Are you joking? It was a two-day course. The first class was theory. A little history, cultural differences, psychology, sex toys. Oh, God, it was information overload. But on the big O day, oh, they told us to leave pens and papers at home and bring a pillow and towel. Oh, yeah, cigarettes were optional. Well, so who teaches this? I mean, do they have the proper credentials? Well, yeah, I mean, uh, she's a doctor with a best-selling book. Sign language for sexual stimulation. Let your fingers do the talking. <laughs> so, on Big O Day, how did that all work? Well, there were ten of us, including Jenny and me, in this high school classroom. And, um, you know, she talked to us for a while, and then it was time to get naked. Naked? Absolutely stark naked. In front of everyone? Well, you know, everyone felt a little shy at first, but then after a while we kind of all got into it. You too? I was no exception. How could you? You were among strangers. Oh, I don't know. I mean, it was just so relaxed. Kind of like a kinky slumber party. <laughs> oh, this doctor 
she was fantastic. I mean, she took it step by step. A little breathing, a little self-massage, a little rhythm and pressure, hidden spots of pleasure. Oh. <laughs> hidden spots of pleasure? Yeah. <laughs> Well, I don't think I have any hidden spots of pleasure. <laughs> oh, you would love it. I'm not kidding. I mean, picture this. A high school classroom, a little candlelight, a little Kenny G, and ten women just climaxing one after the other, after the other, after the other. Well, it sounds so free and wild. I mean, I really envy you. Don't get me wrong, your life with Bob is great. Oh. He's great. He's fantastic. What? I fake it. What? I fake it. I do, I've been faking it for years. Well, I don't know whose fault it is. Well, Bob, he fumbles around down there as if he's found a hole in his pocket, you know. Well, maybe Bob and I should take the course. Um, I don't think she teaches men. Well, she told us she tried, but um, after they did it, all they wanted to do was go to sleep. You know, um, I don't think I would have ever admitted this before, but, um... After taking this course, I, I'm beginning to think that men are the reason why so many women never realize their full sexual capacity. Mm -hmm. Well, you wouldn't happen to have that pamphlet lying around, would you? <laughs> no. But you know what? There was this big write-up in the health section of the weekly. And, uh, well, I don't know, there's usually one around here somewhere. Oh, wait a sec. That guy over there's got one. Oh, no. I'll be right back. Oh, no. No, no, it's okay. No, I, I probably have a copy of it at home. <laughs> Just relax. I'm a little Kenny G. Remember hidden spots of pleasure. SWF 355, 5, 120 pounds. Honest, well traveled, spontaneous, keeps body, mind in good shape. Seeks fun loving, intelligent man with a sense of humor. See, that's why I picked your ad. The rest of these are, are just full of sickos. Excuse me, um, could I have the health section? Yeah, um. And your ad was perfect. SWM, sensitive, loyal, non-controlling, and SND, well-read, looking for a university-educated, financially secure fit female. But I'm sorry. It just didn't work out. Uh, this doesn't mean that we can't be... Friends. Friends. <laughs> Boy, I'm glad I got that off my chest. <laughs> great. The best friends. Yeah, well, that's what we are. We're good friends. You, um... What do you what do you say we get out of here? Oh, do you want to go? Sure. Well, I'm not hungry. <laughs> no, me either. Well, maybe we can... Uh, do this again. Sometime. Today on one of the talk shows, 
they committed a whole hour to operations that enlarge men's penises. <laughs> and all the news, this man and woman, they were caught having sex in a fast food restaurant. The reporter called the story a full meal deal. Even the Nature Channel had meeting rituals of the Wild Kingdom. <laughs> you ever witness the way a wild boar makes love? Not pretty. It's just uh, so disturbing. What's a person supposed to do? Don't watch TV. Turn it off. Red, pick up a book or a magazine. Sure. Easy for you. Chatelaine Magazine, one of my favorites, had a 10-page article titled 10 Telltale Signs That Your Husband's Cheating. Shape Magazine. Which sexual positions are aerobically correct? <laughs> and you don't even want to know what I read in the National Enquirer. Sex, sex, sex. <laughs> Why are people so concerned about sex? There's an AIDS thing. People are dying just for having sex. Well, I just don't get it. I mean, sex is just sex, right? The world is definitely changing us. Into what I'm not quite sure. <sighs> Better get back to work. What can I get for you, sir? How about a nice cup of tea? seem to have dropped this. Oh, such a gentleman. My late husband used to drive a motorcycle. Can you, can, you, can you hang on for a second? I, I got somebody on the other line. Yeah, yeah, hang on, hang on. Hello. Hi, honey. Hi. Hi. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, uh-huh. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. No. No, I won't. I won't. Okay. No. Yes. Uh-huh. Yeah. A pound of milk. Two liters of butter. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. B bye. Bye. Hello? Hello? if there are any openings for this weekend's course, Masturbation and the Art of Self-Loving. Masturbation and the Art of Self-Loving. Oh, great. Uh-huh. Excellent. I I'll, I'll be there at 7 o'clock.
ever given me flowers before. You know, you make me so mad sometimes. Why do we always fight? You know why. Your ego. Oh. <laughs> you know, I've been thinking. I want you to do whatever makes you happy. I mean, we got this great sex life. I'm afraid of losing it to some fucking virus. Yeah, I know you're right. And I'm gonna take this test. But I'm taking it for myself. Okay? Yeah. You know what? I think this calls for a celebration. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna take you anywhere you want to go. And it's on me. I think you're right. It's on you. Thank <laughs> you.